Well, guys, guess what? We did it! It's a little baby crystal red shrimp. Oh, isn't he cute? Look at the little guy. He's like a very tiny version of his mama. Oh. Well, there's a few of these little fellas, and I'm sure they're scattered around the tank. Yeah, getting to focus on them is, is always a bit of a task. Oh, there's one on the heater. So, uh, it's been a few days since I've been down to my fish room, and I'm so happy to have come back down to little baby crystal reds. Oh, it's been a long journey. Uh, so, I mean, I started out with these shrimps back when I was doing, and I still am doing, the crystal red experiment. Um, if you want to know more about that experiment, I've got a lot of videos that talk about it and what ultimately happened and why the project got halted for a little bit and what I'm currently doing right now. But I expected these shrimp to be perfectly fine because the reality is it, this particular setup is RODI water mixed with salty shrimp to the right TDS, GH, KH, and then it's also a heated tank to their optimal temperature as well as actively buffered substrate. This is fluval stratum. So their conditions are idyllic for the most part. They do get fed uh, every day, well, most days, um, their pellet food, and they love their pellet food. And I, I had uh, a buried crystal red for a while, so I knew she was going to have her eggs hatch eventually. Uh, it was really just a matter of when. There is actually a way to calculate uh, a rough estimate of how long it takes a crystal red shrimp to have her eggs hatch, and that's dependent on a few different parameters, but uh, as you can see, the babies hatched, and they're just skadoodling about. So what I'm probably going to do is uh, I'm going to add a little bit of Bacter AE to try and reinforce the biofilm. Uh, I wish I had Gloss Gardens um, baby shrimp food, that would have been fantastic to have. But in my experience with shrimps, uh, it's not particularly necessary. It's just probably a good thing to have. Powdered foods do really well for baby shrimps because when you put a pellet of food, the shrimps that are adults like to hoard around the pellet food, and they can be a little aggressive even towards each other. So having powdered food that can be dispersed across the tank it's probably a good thing. At some point, I'll get some. But for right now, they're just going to feed on what they naturally do. Biofilm, algae, you know, that good stuff. So, the Crystal Red experiment is definitely still continuing. But it won't really truly continue until I have a plethora of Crystal Red shrimps. So, I'm thinking at least 100 shrimps in this tank before I start that particular experiment back up again which if you're not familiar with what it is, you don't want to look, it's basically searching for alternative parameters that these shrimps can thrive in. Um, I've got a lot of experience, some data, and um, some talking points, and some, uh, some basically taking the experience of other breeders that have done it uh, to a certain extent and kind of amalgamating that information to try and see what I can't do. Uh, but that that's a topic for another time. Today, we are just really just being happy that we've got little baby scramps. Man, they really are just like tiny versions of the adult. They're just as opaque. That is incredible. See, I, I'm really used to Neocaridina davidi, which is your typical like cherry shrimp. I've got tons of colors of that species. Uh, but usually those species are pretty uh, transparent or translucent when they're little babies. But uh, these guys definitely, oh, there's one, definitely much more colorful. I, I've really come to love the look of these shrimp. They're just so vibrant. I can see why people adore them. They are goofy little guys. They're just as active and fun as Neo's. They just take a little bit more consideration to their parameters and uh, consistency compared to Neos, but I, I love them all the same. So, I am super happy about this. So, 
Hopefully, uh, I got I got a few more buried females in here, so hopefully I'll have a tiny little shrimp explosion in here, and uh, we will go from there.